You're tuned to Cougar Half One half line. down. One half to go. It's now time for the second half of BYU Women's Soccer on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Three goals in the first half by three different BYU players. As the Cougars on top 3-0 as we get ready to begin the second half. Cougars with possession and waiting for the whistle for the last 45 to begin. And there it is, second half officially underway. Coulihan to Smith. Smith to Vaca. And now Lava wide to Peterson. Petey. In the box, looking for Felino. Ball out of play. At the inline, it'll be another corner kick. BYU's, I believe BYU's fifth corner of this match. Brecken Bazingo will take it. A Mountain America Credit Union corner kick, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Ball sent into the box. Sitting there, both teams trying to get to it, and Sophia Worth jumps on it and eliminates an opportunity for BYU. Speaking of keepers, a change for BYU. Cassidy Smith is now on the bench. Good first half from Cass. Savannah Mason now in goal for BYU. Savannah's big brother, James Impey, starting center for the BYU football team tonight. And Missouri trying to get on the board first. Shot from deep. Stop by Mason. And Savannah has already been given more action already than what Cassidy Smith had in the first 45. Ball sent deep. Cameron Tucker there. Oh, what a great stop. Cameron Tucker had the keeper to beat who had been pulled out towards the edge of the box. It would have been a wide open net, but a great job by Sophia Worth to step up, cover the ball right before Tucker got to it. Boy, that was a great save by Sophia Worth. Let's get to our laws of the game brought to you by Wilner and O'Reilly, immigration solutions in Utah and abroad at wilneroreilly.com. An updated rule, by the way, on, on spitting, coughing, and biting. Why I picked this one, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, they have uh, changed it. It used to be a one-game suspension. They've enhanced the suspension to two games and categorizes these acts as violent behavior for the fall season due to COVID-19. They've upped the penalty that if you're caught for spitting, coughing, or biting, instead of a one-game suspension, it's now two because of COVID. Missouri with possession. My apologies to Savannah Impey. We have Savannah Impey in goal for the Cougars, and she's the one that made that great stop just a minute ago. Free kick for Mizzou. 22nd ranked Cougars on top 3-0. Jason Shepard and Rachel Manning Jorgensen with you pitch side here at Southfield. Mills sends it into the box. It headed out by the BYU defense. And now Wade turns the ball around. And here come the Cougars on the attack. To Tucker, back to Wade. Wade towards the middle of the pitch to Felino. Bella. Gets the ball to Tucker. Offside. And the offside flag goes up. All four offsides have been called on cam tonight. Another free kick for number 11, the freshman, Ashlyn Mills out of Frisco. Cleats, or boots, if you will. Ball sent into the corner and out of play. Throw in for Missouri. No, nope, excuse me, throw in for BYU. 
And they'll send it back to Mason, who keeps the ball moving to Vaca. Five minutes into the second half, BYU still with a 3-0 lead. Good defense by Missouri. Mamola Adesanmi steps in front of the pass, kicks it out of play, throw in on the far side from Petey to Tucker, and now to Shepard. Jamie trying to get the ball to Coulihan. Nice sliding pass to Smith. Smith hit in the back and down. Foul called on number 22, Sky Kingsley. So an opportunity for a set piece here in the attacking third for BYU. Free kick. Smith and Coulihan over the ball right now. We'll see who ultimately takes it. And it appears to be Olivia Smith. Free kick coming from Olivia Smith. BYU setting up the offense. Smith, right foot, and over the crossbar and out of play. Goal kick for Sophia Wirth and the Tigers. Worth sets the ball down, is yet to put it back in play. Good crowd tonight, especially with everything that's going on a couple of streets north at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. Missouri still trying to get on the board. They trail 3-0. An opportunity here nearing the attacking third. Shot, more of a pass into the box, but the offside flag goes up. And Julissa Cisneros, the senior from Reno Valley, California, called for the offside. And here come the Cougars. Wade to Coulihan. Coulihan pushing forward into the box. A pass to Wade, deflected, but Mazingo comes away with it. Cougars still with possession with an opportunity to score. Right-footed cross headed out by the Missouri defense, but Wade, the top of the arc, gets it. Better defense by Mizzou. Knocked the pass away, and here come the Tigers. Missouri has that pass taken away. BYU now turns the other way. Wide to Coulihan. Coulihan loses the ball. Smith tries to keep it in play, cannot do it. Throw in in front of the BYU bench for Mizzou. Grace Pettit, the sophomore out of Tulsa, will throw in. Headed up by Smith, and Jamie Shepard comes away with the ball for BYU. Wide to Tucker, right-footed cross, cleared by Missouri. Cougars can't catch it before it goes out of play, but another opportunity for BYU in the attacking position. Wasting no time, Tucker in the box. Cross by Cam, sent out by the Mizzou defense to the back line of BYU. Cougars push the ball forward again. Wade in the midfield. Wide to Smith. Smith even wider to Tucker. Tucker on the move, in the box. A shot goes far post and gets it to go! Camera Tucker puts BYU up 4-0. Goal! What a shot by Cameron Tucker. Played perfectly, Rachel. Yeah, that was a great job by Cam looking forward. She she got the ball into the box, was able to find the side netting right there. It was a great, great individual effort by Cam right there. Two goals for Cameron Tucker tonight, and Goal BYU increases its lead 4-0. Cameron Tucker. As we mentioned, Rachel, the last time BYU was on this field, they won 7-0. Yeah, it's a great it's another great bounce back game after not having very many opportunities against Utah. BYU has had some great opportunities on goal and some great goals. Missouri looking to answer quickly. Already into the attacking third. The ball sent wide to Blythe Beldner. Beldner 
bringing it back towards the middle of the pitch. Now at the edge of the box, the shot hits the top of the crossbar and bounces away. Missouri will have possession and it should be a corner kick for Mizzou and that's what they're gonna call. Missouri with its first corner kick of the evening. The Cougars have had six. This will be number one for Mizzou. Beldner will take it, the senior out of Wildwood, Missouri. Much different scenario. While BYU still leads 4-0, at least there have been a couple of shots, shots on goal for Mizzou. The corner kick goes through the other side and out of play off of BYU. So it'll be a throw in on the far side for the Tigers. And did they, was that a foul or a handball? I think it was an offside call. No, they call the offsides. Okay, yeah. so eventually you'll get to want whatever it was. Savannah Impey Mason in goal for the Cougars. Ready to put the ball back in play. And she does. But Missouri there to take advantage. A shot deep, out of play, and out the end line. Goal kick for the Cougars. I think at this point, Rach, if you're Mizzou, you just, you're willing to take whatever opportunities. You have a shot deep, take it. Right, you, I don't, she didn't hesitate right there to take that shot. You're down 4 0. What do you got to lose at this point? Just under 35 minutes to go here in the second 45 minutes at Southfield. Mizzou sustaining possessions a lot longer than we saw at any point in the first half. First substitution, substitution of the second half for the number Tigers. 22, number 27, Haley Steinke from Castle Rock, Colorado, will check in. Checking out, number 22, Sky Kingsley. The ball put in play. And Mizzou has the pass taken away. Nice defense there by Warner. Warner to Vaca. Vaca turning on the Jets, trying to get around the corner. Can't do it. The referee says that was off BYU and Vaca pleading her case. Referee says, and actually they will confer and they will change the call. It will be BYU with the throw in. Both teams misplayed that. The ball went through and nobody was there. Olivia Wade, Johnny on the spot, picks it up. And now here come the Cougars. Back towards the middle of the pitch to Coulihan. Back to Smith. Olivia now advancing forward from one Olivia to another. Wade, the edge of the box. Right foot across to Coulihan. A shot right at Worth. Shot right Coulihan. Gets two hands on it and quickly throws it back in for the Tigers. Mizzou trying to get on the board, trying to find something positive. Vaca steals the pass. Here comes BYU one more time into the box. Worth steps up, picks it up. And an offensive opportunity taken away. Cameron Tucker barreling down on that ball. Nice job by Worth to react quickly. BYU still comes away with it, however. Felino to Mazingo. Brecken near the end line. Cross. Booted away, but Mazingo right there again. Another shot! Bounces off the far post. Oh, what a shot from Brecken Mazingo. She stopped, spun, shot, and just barely missed putting the Cougars up 5 0. Oh, my goodness, what a shot. BYU still comes away with it, however. Wade in the box near the inline. The ball will go out of play. And I believe they will say it was off BYU. We'll have our first BYU substitution of the second half. 
Substitutions brought to you by Zions Bank for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. Olivia Smith will check out. And Davi Vaca will check in. BYU possession. Shepard now advancing. A pass through to Tucker. Shot wide and out of play. Shot by Tucker. Tucker already with two of the four goals scored tonight. Two by Cameron Tucker. One by Abby Cotter. And the fourth by Ellie Mon. BYU leading 4-0. 18 to 3 in favor of BYU in terms of shots, 8 to 2 shots on goal. 6 to 1 in favor of BYU on corners. And there's a BYU player down, and she's hurt. Did not see who it was that was taken down. It's Michaela. That Michaela's taken down and a yellow card has been issued to Mizzou. Kayla already back up onto her feet. First yellow card. And the yellow was called on number 11, Ashlyn Mills. So the wall being set up by the Tigers. Free kick. Tucker takes it from deep. And a nice diving stop by Sophia Wirth. Shot was on the money, but played perfectly by Worth. In play, and a foul on BYU this time. Free kick for the Tigers. Right on the edge of the attacking third. Cougars defense backing up. Under 30 here from Southfield. And another whistle holding up play. The referee now having a conversation with one of the Missouri players, Cassidy Nurnberger. Not quite sure what the conversation was about. And they're going to move. You can hear the crowd here at Southfield. I think they like the original spot. Referee moving it back probably 10 yards to the agreement of the fans here. And now another conversation between the referee and this time number 77, Adesanmi, out of Nigeria. And now play will resume. A free kick. And now timeout has been called. There seems to be some confusion on the field. We'll see if we can get an idea of what they're talking about. BYU set to bring in two substitutions momentarily. Hale and Johnson will be checking in in just a moment. Trying to get an explanation as to what the holdup in play is. Still no official indication. May have been a, a clock issue, actually. It's, nothing has been done in terms of moving players around or having different players come in. So a free kick. Sent into the box, headed out by the Cougars. Missouri gets the possession into the box, cleared by BYU and out of play. Throw in for number 17, Grace Pettit. Sophomore from Tulsa. Throwing in and Warner gets ahead on it and sends it the other way. Tucker on the move. Tucker defended by Adesanmi. Tucker cuts back and now cuts to her right again. Looking for the cross. Good defense by Mamola Adesanmi. 
out of play. Corner for the Cougars. Another Mountain America Credit Union corner kick. The official credit union of BYU Athletics. And now the substitutions we mentioned. Jamie Shepard will check out. Brooke Hale and Ashton Johnson will check in. Natalie Wells also checking out. A corner headed up and out by the Tigers. And it'll be another corner for BYU. That last substitution brought to you by Zions Bank. Corner into the box, headed out and up. Cameron Tucker able to get another head on it, but it slid off, really didn't get much of a shot on it, not a play. I like the idea. Goal kick for Sophia Worth. Both teams jostling for position. And it'll be the visitors from Columbia that initially get a foot on it. Both teams fight for the ball, out of play off the Tigers, throw in by BYU. Taken away by Mizzou. And now cleared and into the stands. Another throw in for Kendall Peterson on the far side. 22nd ranked BYU Cougars leading 4-0. Jason Shepard and Rachel Manning Jorgensen with you. Some miscommunication by the Tigers. Pass goes out of play. Throw in for BYU. Oh, no, excuse me, for Mizzou. It's off of BYU. Missouri plays it back to the back line. And now sends it deep. Hale there, and the Cougars will come away with it. The ball sitting in the center circle right now. Neither team really advancing one way or the other. Kendall Peterson had jumped up to get ahead on it, and the momentum of the defender kind of took her legs out of it. I don't believe there was anything malicious at all, but there's going to be another yellow card presented to the Missouri Tigers try and see if we can get a yeah I, I don't think there was anything malicious she tried to put on the brake speaking of Blythe Beldner and her momentum just carried her into Peterson so another yellow card is presented BYU with possession Wade Back to Vaca. Dobby to Lava. Lava now pushes forward. Crosses midfield. Putting on the Jets. Sending it wide to Tucker. Tucker near the 18. Right footed cross. cross by Tucker. Played perfectly by the Missouri defense. Sent back to the BYU back line. Brooke Hale. Wide to Peterson. Peterson defended by Beldner. Had a good battle all night long. Into the corner. PD trying for the cross. Kicks it off of the defender and out of play. Cougar corner kick. Another corner kick for BYU. Corner number eight. Mountain America Credit Union corner kick. The official credit union of BYU Athletics. In the far corner, everybody's setting up in the box. The whistle has blown. And they'll send it back to Peterson. BYU. Trying to get something going. Peterson cannot turn the corner. The ball goes out of play once again. And another corner kick for BYU. BYU leading 4-0. Been in complete control of this match. All four goals scored in the first 45. 
Ball put in play. Wade spun and shot. Ricochets off the defense. Off of Mizzou, out of play, throw in from Peterson. Now back to Ashton Johnson. Plays it back further to Hale. Brooke to Vaca. Davi to Wade. Olivia able to get the pass to Davi. Better defense. It was a matchup of 27s. Better defense by number 27, Haley Steinke. Knocks the ball out of play off of Vaca and a throw in for the Tigers. The ball put in play. And Mizzou gets a foot on it. All the way into the box to Mason. Savannah with a pass to Vaca. Vaca's pass taken away by the Tigers. And still can't get anything going. Cougar substitution coming out number five. Michaeli Moore Check checking in three. for Brecken Mazengo. Michaeli making her first appearance in the match tonight. Substitution brought to you by Zions Bank for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. Tigers come away with it. Back towards the middle of the pitch. Cougars had an opportunity to steal the pass. And this time they do. Nice defense. The double team came, and Beldner couldn't get away from it. Johnson wide to Vaca. Davi now crossing midfield. To Wade, and now Coulihan. Coulihan has a couple of options. Right footed cross, right in the box, a shot, and a good save knocked down by Worth. The shot from Bella Foligno. Right now, with the Cougars up 4 0, Mizzou just trying to find something positive to build off of at this point. It will be BYU ball, or excuse me, Missouri ball, a uh, free kick right at midfield. After tonight, Cougars back here at Southfield on Thursday hosting Idaho State. It's a game that you'll hear here on the BYU Sports Network as well as see on BYU TV in the app. Both teams with substitutions. Number 19, Macy Trujillo checking in for the Tigers. Number 29, Abby Cotter, who scored in the first half, will check in for Bella Foligno. Bella taking a seat. Just under 21 minutes to go here. And that will not be the last substitution for the BYU Cougars before the night is done. More Cougars at the scorer's table. We'll be checking in in just a little bit. Brooke Hale, the nice pass deep. Coulihan comes down with it. And now Kayla on the move to Wade. Knocked out of play by Mizzou. And here we go, three substitutions in fact. McCarthy will check in. Ellie Mon will check in. And Addie Gardner will check in for BYU. BYU with a throw in. Vaca threw it in and gets it back after the pass. Mon right on the touchline. Kicked out of play by Missouri. And it hit off of Mon and out of play. So it will be Tiger Ball. Free kick deep in the corner. Played nicely by Nuremberger. The ball rolls into the box. Mason there 
did not panic at all. There was a Missouri Tiger barreling down, but played perfectly by the Cougar keeper, Savannah Mason. Gardner trying to catch up to a long pass. Can't do it. And now another substitution brought to you by Zions Bank. Number 21, Tara Warner will check back in. And checking out, Kendall Peterson. Cross into the box, headed up, and a great save, and a follow-up by BYU. Abby. Addie Gardner, Abby. or excuse me, Abby Cotter Abby. with the goal. There were three Cougars all right there on the follow-up, and BYU goes up 5-0. Vaca in, Moore gets a head on it, and it's Cotter there to clean it up and pick up the fifth goal of the night for BYU. Yeah, that was a great initial cross by Davi there. McKaylee got her head on it. The keeper was able to make a save, and Abby, Abby <laughs> tucked it away. She was able to, to get it in the back of the net. Good job by Abby. Abby Cotter putting BYU on top 5-0. The domination continues here in Provo. Abby with her third goal of the season. It's now 20 shots for BYU, 10 shots on goal. BYU looking for more in the attacking third, turned away by the Mizzou defense. Here come the Tigers. The ball sent wide, and now Mizzou pushes forward. Ball not played well, but as it tried to clear, excuse me, as BYU tried to clear, Mizzou stepped in front. A shot deep, and a goal! Missouri gets on the board. And BYU's lead is now 5-1. We mentioned this freshman in pregame, Milena Fisher, with the goal. And it gets the Tigers on the board, 5-1 BYU. Right over the outstretched arm of Savannah Mason. Good shot, and just out of the reach of the keeper. By number 11, Ashlyn Mills. They announced Mills, but it is Fisher with the goal. It's her third goal of the season. Coming off the SEC Freshman of the Week honors. So BYU with 17.40 to go, still leading by four goals. BYU with several substitutions. The big lead, you can allow your depth to play. Some aggressive play on both sides. Ball will go out of play and a throw in for the Cougars. McCarthy near the end line and out of play. Goal kick for Sophia Worth. Five one BYU. Three goals in the first half, two here so far. In half number two. Mon on the move for the Cougars. Cougars still with a chance and another shot and another goal. goal. BYU now goes up 6-1. McKaylee goal. Moore adding to it and the Cougars regain their five goal lead. BYU, Rach, has just put pressure constantly. Mon had the ball, tried to split the double team. The ball bounced away. McKaylee there makes a great move to her right, shoots with the right foot, and finds the back of the net. 
Yeah, that was a great answer by BYU. I was really impressed by McKaylee's uh, cutback right there. She was able to get a quick shot off in the box. Checking in for that is the first goal of the season from McKaylee Moore. So 16 and a half minutes, Cougars leading 6-1. Missouri with possession, free kick in the neutral third. And as we've seen all night long, it will be Mills that takes the free kick into the box. BYU doing a nice job trying to clear it, and they do. McCarthy trying to catch up to it. Goes out of play, throw in on the far side for the Tigers. So two goals tonight from Cameron Tucker. Two goals from Abby Cotter. A goal from Ellie Mon. And a goal from McKaylee Moore. A great offensive performance. Certainly not to be overshadowed by the defense that the Cougars have played all night long. Cougar possession. Turned away by the Missouri defense, and here comes the Tiger offense. Kingsley gets past Vaca, and now cuts it back to her right. The edge of the box. A shot at Mason. Easy save for Savannah. And we are without question seeing a much more aggressive Missouri team over the last 15, 20 minutes. So far, it has resulted in the Tigers' first goal. But BYU still leading 6-1. BYU not done, pushing the ball forward. McCarthy, the pass into the corner. Cotter catches up to it. A shot from deep. And a good save by, by Sophia Worth. Rachel McCarthy took a shot from about 20 yards out. Played nicely by Worth. The ball sent back into play. And the BYU Cougars will come away with it. Knocked out of play on the far side by Mizzou. Throw in for the Cougars. Warner puts the ball in play, sends it back to the back line. Now all the way back to Brooke Hale. Hale to Lava. Trying to find Coulihan. Coulihan double teamed and a turnover. Here comes Mizzou. Cisneros plays it back and now wide to Pettit. Pettit now with a pass forward. Only players there wearing BYU kits. The pass downfield, and Mizzou picks it up. BYU saves it on the far side touch. And Cougar ball. Wide to Vaca. Taman, and one touch back to Davi. To Johnson, in the middle of the pitch. A nice pass into the attacking third. Good defense by the Cougars, or excuse me, by Mizzou. But Mon comes away with it. Looking for the cross, defended nicely by Mizzou. I believe that was Mills on the defense. So it'll be a corner kick for the Cougars. Should be corner kick number 11 on the night. A Mountain America Credit Union corner kick, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Ellie will take it. On top of the net. And a goal 
key, excuse me, a goal kick for Sophia Worth. Substitution for the Tigers coming out. Carolyn, Carolyn Lyman and checking in. Megan Odoyoki. Lavinny Vaca will check out. Levin checking Vaca in, checking in. is Garcia. Also Nearing 11 minutes to go here Jordan. in half Jenna number Barnes. two, BYU, 22nd ranked in the country, leading 6 1. Another opportunity for BYU, wasting no time getting into the attacking third. A shot deep. Lands on top of the netting again from Ellie Mon. Rach, I love the aggressive nature when you're up 6-1, not resting on your laurels. Just continue to put pressure. Yeah, BYU's been doing a great job finding space high and wide. I think they've been pretty successful most of the night creating those corner kicks and opportunities because they're getting high and wide and going end line and, and uh, trying to get crosses off. Ten and a half minutes to go. Both teams emptying their bench. Missouri scoring its first goal. A few moments ago looking to add to it. A sent through, a shot, and another goal. Missouri taking advantage of a great pass into the box. Goal. Mason had to pull out of the net trying to get to it. It left it wide open, and a great job by number 22, Sky Kingsley, to score the Tigers' second goal of the night. So it's now 6-2 BYU. It was a fantastic pass to Kingsley. And once Savannah Mason had committed to try and catch up to it, it was a nice shot by Kingsley to find the back of the net. BYU quickly back on offense. McCarthy on the far side. Through pass. Into the corner. BYU player in the corner falls down. Could not see who that was. Could not see the number. Missouri trying to clear. And it will be Missouri ball. That hit off of BYU and out of play throw in on the far side right near midfield. The throw in not executed the way the Tigers would have wanted right at BYU. McKaylee Moore with the ball in the attacking third. Across and another shot and a goal! BYU has been dominant on the crosses and Rachel McCarthy there, a perfect cross, puts it in the back of the net. And that is now back-to-back -back home games where the Cougars have scored seven goals. Garcia with the assist, a perfect cross. And McCarthy, who's been dangerous all night long, finally gets one to go. Yeah, like I mentioned, the Cougars are doing well to get end line. That was a great job by Paula to get end line. She was able to look up and see Rach, and Rachel was able to tuck it away with her left foot. It was a great shot. BYU, even though they had the large lead, has done a nice job of answering when Missouri has been able to find the back of the net. Cougars with the five goal advantage. We'll be giving you our Adobe player of the game afterwards. Also here from the head coach of the Cougars, Jennifer Rockwood. It's all coming up in about eight and a half minutes. 8.30 here at Southfield. Clouds rolling in, temperature is perfect. As soon as we wrap things up here at Southfield, all attention moves to BYU football hosting the University of Utah. Some miscommunication on BYU's side. A pass rolls out of bounds and a throw in for Missouri right in front of the Cougar bench.
Foul called on BYU. Foul will be called on Addie Gardner, so a free kick for Mizzou. Up next for the Tigers, back home in Columbia, hosting South Carolina. Mills takes the free kick. Headed into the top of the box. Great defense by the Cougars. But Mizzou comes right back and steals it. Across, headed out by BYU, but not cleared far enough. And another shot and another goal. That is three goals here in the last 20 oh, minutes Tigers. by the Missouri Tigers. And Malena Fisher with goal number two. BYU tried to clear it, couldn't get it far enough. Fisher ran up on it. And with the right foot, about 16 yards out, gets another goal. So it's now 7-3. Boy, she has been a fantastic freshman. We were talking Rachel about Mizzou just trying to find something positive to build off of. They certainly have found that in the last 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, they've been able to exploit some of the uh, Cougars' mistakes on defense there. I'd like to see the Cougars these last six, seven minutes try to tighten up on defense and try to fix some of those, you know, openings and mistakes they've been making. A Mountain America Credit Union corner kick. Mon will take it into the box and cleared finally by Missouri. The ball will stay in play, and BYU maintains offensive possession. Into the corner, BYU battling for possession. They will keep it out of bounds off of Mizzou. Throw in for the Cougars. BYU still in the attacking third. Cotter, a shot from deep. Punched out by the defender who jumped in front of Sophia Worth. That was dangerous. Going to get a, I believe, a foul called on BYU. We're watching the replay on BYU TV. And McKaylee Moore and Sophia Worth ran into each other, and both feeling the effects of that afterwards. Five and a half to go, 7-3 BYU. Throw in by the Tigers. Have found some offensive life as of late. BYU with possession, leading by four goals. Certainly don't need to take any chances right now. BYU content to keep the ball in the midfield. That pass taken away by Johnson. And here come the Tigers one more time. Bartles to Fisher. Another shot. Great save and put back in by Bartles. Jenna Bartles off of the ricochet, off of Mason, puts it in, and it's now 7-4. Mason wasn't able to get two hands on it, but was able to stop it from going in, but Bartles following it up was in perfect position to put it in for goal number four. So now with 4.53, Bartles picks up her first goal of the season and it's 7-4 BYU. What was a five goal advantage has been cut to three. And another opportunity Bartles not paying attention. Defense steals the pass. Nice job by McKaylee Moore. And it'll be a free kick for the Cougars. Mizzou has certainly found something here in the last couple of minutes. Four goals all in half number two. BYU trying to get through and add another one to its three goal advantage. Pass through to Mon. Near the inline. Back to Vaca. Vaca slips, able to regain. A pass into the box. 
BYU still there. A shot by Garcia. And Worth with the save. Shot taken by number 18, Cole Garcia. Ball put back in play. Missouri first to the ball. And a foul is called, I believe, on BYU. And now the referee has stopped play. And a yellow card has been issued to Rachel McCarthy. She did not like the call and got a yellow card because of it. BYU, however, comes away with possession. Nearing three minutes to go. Cougar sent it back to the back line. Out of play and a good catch by my broadcast partner, Rachel. Throw in by BYU, Mon. Able to dribble out of the double team. Back to Hale. And now to Warner. Tara looking for a teammate with the defense stifling the BYU offense. Finally able to do so. Here come the Cougars in the neutral third. Ellie Mon passes back to Hale. Brooke on the move to Mon. Mon taking her time. Wide to Vaca. And Vaca can't hang on to the possession. Out of play and a throw in for Mizzou. Two minutes to go. And the Cougars steal the throw in. 7 4 BYU. And yes, that was two fighter jets flying right over South Field as they're making their way over Lavelle Edwards Stadium. Obviously, a great night for football, but also commemorating 9-11 in 20 years. Reflecting on the heroes of that day and the heroes ever since, obviously. Rachel, that was super loud and super awesome all at once. I think it was a little bit unexpected, too, so it caught a lot of us off guard. BYU's pass rolling into the box, worth there. And 104 left. BYU's going to win this one. But a flurry of activity late by the Tigers. When BYU was running away with it, has pulled Mizzou within three. It's 7 4. Barring something unforeseen, that should be the final score. BYU not going to take any chances. They're happy to keep possession. But they turn it over there. Missouri on the move with 30 seconds to go. A shot from deep, and Mason has it go underneath her legs, but out the back of the end line. She had moved to the side of the post, so anything past her was going to be out of play anyway, but it'll be a corner. Ten seconds, nine, eight, Inside seven, 10 seconds. Six, five, this will be the last four, play for Mizzou, three, quickly getting two, the corner in. This will be the last play, and cleared the final whistle, and BYU gets the win by a final score of 7-4. to four. We'll take a break. We'll come back. Post-game reaction when we return to Southfield on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.